Okay, so you want to screen mirror your Samsung Galaxy S3, S4, S5 using Chromecast, okay? And I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror as well as how you can cast, okay? Now there's two Chromecasts, there's a first generation and a second generation. I'll be using the second generation in this video, but they both work exactly the same. The only difference is the Chromecast second generation is a little bit faster by a tad all around. This is about, right now it's about $35. I'll put a link where you can get it. And the Chromecast One is just as good, but it's a little bit a tad slower. You probably wouldn't even really see a difference unless you compare the both like I have. But this one's $25. Second generation is $35. I'll put a link where you can get both of these, okay? Anyways, I'll be, mine's already hooked up to the Chromecast second generation. And I'm just gonna use the Samsung Galaxy S4 here. And if you're not familiar with the Chromecast, guys, it's basically um, a wireless connection, okay? You can screen mirror and you can cast. You can play games, watch Netflix, watch YouTube. You can even view your uh, videos and photos, your presentations, documents locally from your phone. You can project everything onto the big screen TV. So let's do this, okay? Let me just show you some of the things you can do. Let me go ahead and uh, do a screen mirror first, okay? So. Let me click on the Google uh, Cast icon here. And so let me go ahead and click up here. And I'm going to click on Cast Screen slash Audio, okay? Okay, and that's my Chromecast 4261. You can see it's right over there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, right now what I'm doing is a screen mirror, okay? And I'll show you the difference between screen mirroring and casting, but I'm screen mirroring right now. And from here, you know, you can go ahead and play games. You can watch your YouTube videos, Netflix. Uh, you can even watch or uh, view all your photos. Your, you know, if you have presentations, documents on here locally as well. So let me just do this. Let me go into my gallery here. And I'll show you some photos here as well as um, some videos, okay? So... Okay, here's a video here. I'll just show you really quickly with this one. All iPhones, basically and of course, I can lower and raise the volume. If I lower and raise the volume, it's going to go directly to my TV, okay? So here's a video here. Now let's look at some photos. Let me uh, just go back here. And look at some photos here. Let me show you some more photos here. You can see you can put in landscape as well as uh, portrait mode here. And then let me show you, uh, you can play games here, of course. Like, let's, let's do an example here. Let me play a game here. Now, the thing is, I mean, um, in, just take note that if you're using the Chromecast, in order for you guys to get this to work, you have to have you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Your phone has to be on the same same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast, which hooks up back your HDMI. You cannot use mobile data, okay? Well, you can use mobile data. There's a way around it, but 99% of you guys aren't going to be able to do it because you can hook it up to mobile data through like a hotspot, but you got to use like two and two uh, two phones to do it. So 99% of you guys aren't going to be able to do it, okay? So basically you need a Wi-Fi network. No Wi-Fi network and you cannot do anything with uh, Chromecast, okay? So let's do this. Let's just play a game. Uh, let's see here. Let's play uh, this traffic rider here. Now my S4 here is actually a little bit slow, guys, because I haven't used this phone in so long and I have so much junk on here. So my phone is a little bit laggy, okay? Now, of course, you know, if you're, if you're playing a game that's super graphic intensive, then you're definitely going to have lag. And a lot of it also depends on how fast your Wi-Fi connection is. My Wi-Fi connection here in this room isn't really so good, okay? I'm probably, right now, I'm probably getting about like 30 to 40 megabits per second. And let me uh, raise the volume that goes directly to my TV, as you can see.
Make sure you're looking at my my phone as well as my uh, my TV, okay? Okay, I think you pretty much uh, got the message here. So let's do this too, okay? Let's do this. Let's um, let's look at a YouTube video. And the thing is, with, with Chromecast, there's thousands of apps that you can cast with too. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by casting, okay? And we'll watch a YouTube video, okay? Now the thing is, you know, there's thousands of apps that are um, compatible with Chromecast, okay? Basically where you can cast it. And I'll put a link below in the description, guys, where you can see, you know, there's tons of, there's apps... Uh, ranging from like uh, you know music, um, you know Hulu, uh, Pandora. Um, you, you can even download. There's a lot of games that you can cast too, but they're not really um, graphic intensive, like uh, Angry Birds. Um, you know, a bunch of bunch of other other games as well. Let me just give you like an example here, okay? And I'll put this link below. But you know, you can cast thousands of apps here. With TVs and movies, you have like Netflix, Google Play Movies, HBO Now, Hulu, Sling TV, your music audio, you have uh, Spotify, Pandora, Google Play Music, Heart Radio, uh, games, you have Angry Bird, um, Speed, or a Driver Speedboat, uh, you have sports apps. Um, okay, so let me show you this, okay? You know how why Chromecast is compatible with those apps because you can cast it. And what I mean by casting is, for example, let's do this. Let's go into um, a YouTube app now. Instead of screen mirroring it, now if I screen mirror YouTube, what's going to happen? It's going to play on my phone and play on my TV at the same time. But the thing is, if there's a casting icon which is like this right here, let me focus in on here. This is a casting icon, guys. Okay, so basically, if I go ahead and cast this. And then I'm going to set it up to my Chromecast right here. You have so many more features. On top of that, you know, if you can cast an app, you're better off casting it because, first of all, you're going to it's going to drain less battery than watching it the whole entire video from your uh, watching the whole entire video on your you know watching a video on your phone and your TV. Okay, this is going to minimize your battery drain. Plus, what is awesome about casting. Okay, so it's casting now. Let me focus in on here. And you can see that it's playing on my TV. Now check this out. Now because I'm casting, I can actually get out of my phone here. You know, I can I can go into other apps here. You know, like, like let's go to Netflix, okay? I can go to Netflix here. I can actually play a movie on here, Netflix, while this is playing in the background. Now I can even make phone calls I can receive and send texts. I can make phone calls as well while this is playing in the background from my phone. So, I mean, you know, a good scenario to be using this is let's say if you had like kids and you want to put it on a kids channel for your kid, you can put that, um, you know, watch, let them watch a YouTube video on a kids channel. Then you can go to another room or whatever and you can watch, you know, your Netflix or you can make a phone call or talk to somebody else. Uh, for example, like let's go ahead and play uh, Daredevil here. So. My YouTube is playing in the background. It's playing on my TV, and now I'm watching Netflix from my my phone. Like this is absolutely awesome. And the volume works for both of them. I mean, you know, and I can even go ahead and do this. I can go ahead and lock my phone like this, and it's still going to be playing in the background. Okay, now let's see here. Uh, and of course you can do like Netflix, uh, Hulu, HBO Go. I mean, like let's, let's do this. Let me just go into uh, Netflix and I'll show you how you can cast this as well. So I'm going to go on Netflix. Okay, so right now I'm, I'm not even um, casting it or anything. If I wanted to cast it, again, here is this icon, the casting icon. So I'm going to click on this. And then I'm going to click on my Chromecast here. And now it should go ahead and move it to my, it should be casting my Netflix now. Okay, and of course I can rewind, pause, raise and lower the volume all directly from my phone. Okay, so let me go ahead and play this. Let me just fast forward this. Oh wait, let it load a little bit. 
check it out. And let me focus in on here a little bit. I could raise the volume, I can pause. And it goes directly to my TV. So that's pretty cool. And of course it'll work on the S4, S5, um, the S3, and even the S6, the S7, actually pretty much almost all Androids, you'll be able to do all this that I just showed you on the uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions in regard to Chromecast or any other mirroring device, you know, Fire Stick or Screen Beam or Roku or anything, just comment below, all right? Thanks, guys. If you guys subscribe, share, like, I'd appreciate it, all right? Thanks. Bye.